Hello everyone, today we're using registernext.php and register.html. So, um, open these. Um, well, we're going to start off in uh, registernext.php. And as you see, so far we're testing for if the username and the password is alphanumeric. If it isn't, kill the process and bring it on screen. Username and password can only contain letters and numbers. But if it is, it's going to um, test for if the your username and email is already existing in the database. If it is, it's going to print it on screen and kill the process. Email or username is already in use. But if the name and email isn't already existing, we'll, that's what we're going to do now. Then we're going to test for another thing. And that is if host single quotation marks pass to equal signs oh, come on keyboard is equal to I've caps not going now is it post pass confirm okay so what we're saying here is that um well the first time I'm just going to tell you where what this uh, thing inside the quotation marks is well that's a variable that's a variable <clears throat> not just text it's a variable so we say if post pass so we say if the variable posted to us is a uh, name pass and we can check for right here check for if in this field right here called password if in if it says pass in the name well then you have to put pass to here here too so we say that if the password you typed in is equal to pass confirm and so now look down here and this variable's name is pass confirm you see right here so that's what the variable name we're using here oh, well that's what variable we're using right here so what we're actually saying is that if the posted if the posted variable pass is exactly equal to the posted variable pass confirm so what we're checking for if is the um, password you typed in exactly the same as the password you typed in in the confirm password field? And is the email you typed in the exact same as the email you typed in in the email confirmation field? And now again, check for it that the variables is named email and email confirm. So first of all, you look in the email address field, name, email, great. And the confirm email address, name, email confirm, great. So um, <coughs> we're saying that if the, um, if the text or the password you typed in in the password field is exactly equal to the um, text you typed in in the um, pa uh, pass confirmation field, and the email you typed in is the exact same as the one you typed in in the email confirmation field. Well, then we're going to do this. And um, I'm afraid this is going to be for the next tutorial. But we're still going to add an if statement. Oh, well, sorry, not an, Ill, not an if statement, an else statement right here. Die. password and or email doesn't don't oh well I'm afraid I'm going to have to use double quotation marks in here because you know if I use a um if I use a quotation mark inside a quotation mark you see well then it's going to fuck the text up so I have to use double quotation marks here. Who doesn't match? Okay, so if this doesn't if this term right here is not true, then it's going to kill the process and bring it on the screen. Email and or password confirms doesn't match. 
and uh, this uh, thing we're going to type in the um, if statement right here is going to be for the next tutorial. So um, I'll see you there.